I'm always competitive. I always have the mindset, I can win this, I can win this. I think her biggest strength is that she's very, very competitive. She wants to do well. When she has a great round, she comes in, but she still can identify things that she can do to improve her game. And when she has a bad round, you want to give her some space because she's working hard on how she can get better. She has a bad hole, she leaves it on that hole and she moves on. She kind of resets herself, which is really important for any like up and coming player to take inspiration from. I just love how it's a sport that will carry me through a lifetime. If it all works out, I would love to be on a college team. If she wants to play this sport, she has to make the commitment and that means she's got to deal with the type 1 diabetes. So this is my insulin pump. So with type 1 diabetes, my pancreas does not create insulin. I inject a new site once every three days and this is what carries the insulin to my body. I have to enter the amount of carbs I'm eating and my blood sugar and then it comes up with a number for the amount of um, units of insulin I need to inject. So this makes it a ton easier to be able to quickly bolus myself so my blood sugar doesn't go high or low when I'm eating. And then I have a CGM, it's called a Dexcom. And that's under my shirt, it's on my stomach, it's um, attached to my body. And I change that once every 10 days. And that makes it a lot easier so I don't have to test my blood sugar every single time I wanna eat something. And this also connects to my pump so my blood sugar displayed on here and I know what it is 24-7. I think she does a really good job managing it. She always makes sure her blood sugar is at the right level when she plays, and she always communicates it when she isn't feeling well or if she doesn't think she can play her game the right way because of it. I have loads of snacks in my golf bag, um, all variety of stuff, and it's mostly meant to boost my blood sugar so it'll be high sugar. When we go on away matches that are quite a ways away from home or 18 home matches, the school provides a nurse that can actually come with us and we'll follow her around just for precaution. But we have to pay attention to it. We want to make sure she's okay. And then I also have like a testing kit and I'll have other stuff that I might need to carry because of my diabetes in case of, a, of an emergency. Although she deals with this every day, she acts like there's nothing wrong. She shows up, she works as hard as anybody, if not harder and she just loves the game of golf and gives 100%. It's beautiful. It doesn't really get in her way. Um, there are a couple times where she'll say uh, her blood sugar's low or she's not in it all the way or she's a little bit tired, but she really, it doesn't affect her play at all. She's, she's incredible that way. Balancing two things at once is not easy, and I think after getting used to it, it adds to my mental toughness a lot. She's had some challenges, but she always overcomes them, and she plays golf still, she lives her everyday life like a normal teenage 16-year-old girl. When I was younger, right when I was diagnosed, I was playing competitive golf. I was just starting and somebody that I coached was in touch with a former LPGA golfer. She's on the senior tour now, Michelle McGann. She has type 1 diabetes and she's obviously been very successful being on the PGA tour and I was able to connect with her. We were able to write letters to each other through the mail and then once I got a phone, I got her number. So we've been in touch ever since I was around like eight or nine years old. So it's been a really great connection that we've, we have together. She came up to Connecticut one time since she's around the area and we played around in golf together. Um, that was when I was younger, I was around maybe 11 or 12. And then she was staying in Maine for a little bit and she let me play on the, one of the courses she's a member at. We played a round of nine holes there. And then I was able to join her last year at the Senior U.S. Women's Championship. Um, it was in Connecticut and I got to walk inside the ropes with her for a little bit. I've gotten better as a player, both mentally and in my golf game. She's one of the top players in the state as an underclassman. We're just really, really impressed and proud of her. If I'm confident enough and I work on my game and it all works out in the end, I think that I can carry what I did last year and what I'm doing this year into the State Open this year and be competitive. I think the sky is the limit for her. Uh, if she can continue to improve her short game, uh, you're going to see this young lady shooting close to par by the time she's a senior. And she wants to play college golf, and I, I think that's going to happen. I really do.